receiving material. Now, this step may seem rather self-explanatory after what we have discussed up to this point with traceability and staging, but there are specific steps in this process that are really important, which we haven't discussed yet. This step usually involves a very specific person who is in charge of receiving material. I just wanna stop you here. Thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe to this video. The Worker Efficiency app is officially out on Apple and Android. We have so many tools in there, plus our 140 videos, just like the video you're watching right now, all in the library with a 30-day free trial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Let's use that W21 by 50 by 44 foot steel beam that we were talking about earlier as our example. Once the material arrives, the person who receives the material will have a purchase order that lays out all the material based on the given job. Our purchase order for this particular job outlines 15 W21 by 50 by 44 foot steel beams. That is a lot of big steel. The driver will also have a lined item list for what they are delivering, so you can compare notes there. You should be familiar with your company's specific quality control manual and their receiving policies in addition to what we'll outline here. That policy should follow the guidelines from the AISC. Before our steel is unloaded, you should do the following. Inspect the material for damage that could obstruct the integrity of the material. Check all tags and the markings on the steel to ensure that all means for identifying the steel match those in the purchase order. Physically measure the material to make sure that the material being received is indeed accurate to what is in the PO and on the steel as material identification. Ensure that the correct quantity of material has arrived. Now that you have indeed matched PO information and quantity of the material arriving on the truck, the receiver of the material signs it off. Typically, there is a process of material confirmation and submittal before unloading, but that is specific to each company. Remember, we are not unloading the steel and placing it wherever. We are going to have a specific space in the yard typically organized by the job, job numbers, to stage the material prior to it going to the next step in the fabrication process, which is going to be cutting. I mean, having 15 W21 by 50 by 44 foot beams is not something you will figure out where to stage on the day of arrival. This is massive steel, so blocking out an appropriate space for organization is very important for this instance. Now, material coming from the mill or the distributor won't typically come with the job number inscribed on the steel. So you will need to paint stick the appropriate job number into the steel in a place that's easily identifiable, typically by the material dimension. On all 15 W21 by 50 by 44 foot steel beams, we will clearly see job number 2205 as our example. And that steel will be blocked and staged in the yard by the job number organization at its best. Steel in general should always be stored securely off the ground on wood dunnage, steel horses, or even steel racks to protect it. It not only protects your steel from corrosion on the ground, but it allows you to pick the material later with a forklift, telehandler, bridge crane, crane, whatever you are using much easier by getting underneath the steel. Whatever you are using to pick your steel should also have an appropriate working load capacity to carry your pick. One W21 by 50 by 44 foot steel beam weighs 2,200 pounds. So you want to be careful you are using the appropriate equipment. You would also know how to calculate that if you went through how to read drawings and forklifts and telehandlers. 50 pounds per linear foot multiplied by 44 equals 2,200 pounds. Ensuring the correct material arriving, marking our steel and staging the steel is the beginnings of an efficient fabrication process as we have previously discussed. If material is marked inappropriately or stored wrong, then you run the risk of wrong material being pulled and cut. Incorrectly cut material will cascade through the rest of the job in delayed work, schedule, and budget. If you're lucky, material can be recut, but in most cases with large pieces, new material needs to be reordered or extensive rework is required and that material will need to be full pin welded back together, which can be labor intensive. Literally everything starts here. So starting things off correctly when we receive steel will make everybody's life easier. Hey, thanks for watching this video. It really does support us and help us out. Hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe to this video. The worker efficiency app is officially out on Android and Apple stores. Go download it. We have a 30 day trial, which gives you access to all of the tools such as time tracking, compliance management, and training, which includes that library of 140 plus videos or our 12 courses. Go try it out, 30 day free trial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.